years have gone on and on and on. And also the passenger numbers have fallen through the floor. And in London, a regulated system, the opposite has happened. The you know, bus services have, have constantly improved. So this is the issue. If we can do it and we win this, uh, and we're still in a fight because one of the bus companies here is still challenging us, uh, Diamond Buses. Uh, but if we win this fight, we will be able to, to put the... We'll decide what the fares the bus companies charge. We will decide what routes they run. We will decide what buses they have on the roads. And I've already said, if we introduce it as we plan to in September next year, I will introduce straight away a two pound cap on adult bus fares, a one pound cap on child bus fares. Uh, and that takes us to where London has been for some time now. And the thing is, Andrew, you know, the inequality is outrageous in terms of public transport costs more in the poorest parts of, of England. If you were to catch a bus today in Harper Hay, Greater Manchester, you would pay three times as much as in Haringey, London. I mean, how can that possibly be right? Um, I think we can both agree that Keir Starmer is not the kind of guy who naturally breaks rules. Um, and the, the trouble he got into over so-called beer gate um, is only important because he has put his entire future into the hands of the Durham Constabulary. Now, he doesn't know what evidence is going to go into them, nor do you, nor do I, nor does anybody. So there is a possibility that he will no longer be able to be Labour leader relatively soon. In those circumstances, you know, not just the bookies, but an awful lot of people in your party would like to see you run for it, but you can't because you're not an MP. Have you given any thought at all, and be straight with me, please, and, and our listeners and viewers, about returning to the House of Commons? Not soon. Not to return anytime soon. And you correctly identify the, um, the issue. I'm not a member of Parliament, therefore... Uh, the rules of the Labour Party say that I can't, I can't stand. So that is just a, that's a fact. But I, I I'm not going to sit here and spin you a line as though I never, you know. I, I would consider it one day, but not now. I support Keir and what he's trying to do. I think he's put himself in a position where he can lead the next government after this. One. What?